Hey everyone, I've got an update to my fill command video. I created that video in Creo Parametric 5.0, which was the same release in which sketch regions were introduced. And I did not realize at the time that you could use sketch regions with the fill command. Let me show you how to do that. If you go to the selection filter in the lower right hand corner, you can change from the default geometry to sketch region, and then you can select portions of a sketch or portions of the sketch and the boundaries of edges. For example, if I move my mouse over here, well, here we have a sketch region. I can select that. Let me hold down the control key and grab another one and another one and this one over here. Actually, let's make it a little more interesting. Let me grab that one over there and also this little sliver as well. So when I select those different sketch regions, you can see that in the mini toolbar, we have access to the fill command. And you're, there you can see a preview of the internal section that will be used. I will click on the middle mouse button in order to generate that particular surface. Let me take that fill surface and hide it just to show you some other different things. So for example, if I select this surface, just so I can look normal to the surface. Whoa, where'd my model go? Uh, I can also use a box select for picking my different sketch regions. So for example, if I start over here and hold down the right mouse button, it is highlighting the different sketch regions that fall completely within that bounding box. And so now then I can just hold down the right mouse button, make sure I get to my mini toolbar again, and then choose the fill command and then hit middle mouse button in order to complete it. Let me take that one as well and hide it. Before I go to the swiping, I'm gonna show you that you can use keyboard shortcuts to change back and forth between sketch regions and your default geometry selection. If you hold down Shift G, you'll notice that it goes to geometry. If I hold down Shift S, it changes back to a sketch region. And this time I'm gonna start with my mouse over here. I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button. I'm gonna drag a box. And you'll notice that it is grabbing anything that the sketch region runs into. It doesn't have to fully encompass the region, anything that is intersected. And then I'll just hold down the right mouse button to get to my mini toolbar, and then click on fill, hit the middle mouse button, and the fill surface is created. Now, be aware that there does have to be a sketch. Where's my spin center? I'm going to turn that on so I can get to where I want to. So, for example, if I have sketch region selected, well, it's not allowing me to grab anything from this side of the model. And sometimes people ask me, hey, Dave, I don't want to create a sketch. How can I make a fill surface without creating a sketch? Because, again, they just really have some kind of aversion to sketches. Well, back at the beginning of the pandemic, I went through a whole bunch of different anatomic and obsoleted features that do not appear in the Creo Parametric interface anymore by default, but you can use config.pro options in order to enable these different features, and then you can add them to a custom tab or to the common tab. And one that I like to keep in my back pocket for situations like these is the conic and n-sided patch. I will click on that command. Yes, it is old, it is obsoleted, it triggers the menu manager. And in this situation, we can use the n-sided surf and then choose done. This will open up the model dialog box. And then I can select a bunch of edges one by one. I'll use the control key in order to grab the ones. Make sure I'm grabbing the edges that are touching one another. That's good. I will hit the middle mouse button to close that get select menu and then use middle mouse button to hit the done command and then middle mouse button once more in order to click OK out of the model dialog box. Now we have a nice flat surface there. I'm going to hide this surface to show you another way in which you can close off a gap with a surface without using a sketch. If you have ISDX, you can go to the style command. And now I will create a surface and I'll select the outside edges this time. And once again, I'm holding down the control key in order to grab them. You can see the selection that we're getting. 
and here in this case I am using those six different edges. Let me hit middle mouse button, which is the same as the check mark. Yeah, there's a little stifling because I selected the outside edges. Let me hit the check mark again. And there we have our surface created. So again, there are ways that you can create flat planar surfaces and even non-planar surfaces to close off a gap without using a sketch. But again, with the fill command, hey, just be aware that you have the ability to use sketch regions to select different portions. Once again, I can say, hey, let me just grab this particular portion of a sketch. And since I closed the mini toolbar, hey, let's use the fill command. Just note that this creates an internal section within the fill tool. You can go to the edit button if you wanna make changes to it, but let me just hit the check mark to get out of sketch mode and middle mouse button to complete the feature.